Caspa fans, we have some big and exciting news for you today as Caspa is up over 6.5% on the one day. What is the reason for this move? I think we might have an answer for you as the Casplex team officially announced the KRC20 token standard will be going live on the mainnet in just six days, less than a week. We're finally going to see token standards. We're finally going to see smart contract functionality on the Caspa network. What could potentially happen to the price? What tokens should we be on the lookout for? And what altcoin had a similar rally, similar setup prior to its uh, smart contract functionality on the mainnet? And what happened thereafter to the price? We'll talk about that. But first, big shout out and round of applause to the Casplex team as they are thrilled to announce that Casplex's KRC20 will be launching on the main end on the 15th of this month. After a month of internal testing and two months of stress testing, we processed over 90 million KRC20 transactions and everything is running smoothly. We're also seeing a growing community of developers building amazing applications on Casplex. You can now complete KRC20 transactions through various wallets and integrating KRC20 into your own applications has become even easier. Thank you for being part of this journey. Let's build, innovate, and grow together. This is happening all prior to the big crescendo hard fork. So things are really lining up for Caspa to have an explosive end of 2024 and going into 2025. Will Caspa be the darling of the 2025 bull market year? Let's talk about another big altcoin, another one that had a massive community that prior to launching its token standard, its smart contract functionality, what did the price do? Of course, I'm talking about none other than Cardano. This is Cardano on the one day. And Cardano smart contracts went live in early September. Well, what did price do? Uh, let's say two, three weeks leading up to that September date of the smart contract functionality. We saw Cardano starting towards mid-July rally from about a dollar four, and it didn't really have any significant pullback. Until about a whole month later, almost a whole month later, about three weeks later, where it's uh, topped that at around $2.20, saw a drawdown down to $1.90, and then saw another massive rally leading into the start of the smart contracts. And then, of course, when the smart contract was not live, that was actually the top of Cardano. Will the same thing happen for Caspa? One big difference I want to note here is for Cardano, this happened at the tail end of the bull market. So the bull market was already winding down. Uh, Bitcoin's top wasn't in yet. Cardano front ran that about, about a, by about a two months. So not that far off. And then we saw bear market price action. Where is Caspa right now? This is Caspa on the daily. We had been putting in higher highs and higher lows until we broke that. This was back on August 6th. Two key levels I have noted here. The first one is going to be our first big key level of resistance right around 17.1 cents. This is where Caspa's price has gone rejected several times. One, two, three, although we closed above this area uh, very briefly, the very next few days we saw a big spill off, came up to try to retest. Let me get rid of this uh, volume profile here. We came back, attempted to retest on a wick, didn't quite get there and spilled off further down to a wick low of around 13.9 cents. We are seeing... Three consecutive green candles for Caspa. Price action is looking strong, but the first key level to look out for is this $17.19. If we can reclaim that level and stay above it, we have, would have put in a higher high, taking out this 17.157 level and potentially reversing the trend on at least a micro side to a uptrend yet again. Then after that, after we clear the 17.19 cent level, the very next key important level is 19.1 cents. This is where Caspa had a wick up. This was back on June 5th of this year. We saw a massive wick and then a spill off from close to bottom of around 25%. The more recent one was on June 29th. So not too long thereafter where we saw Caspa close above these levels, but subsequently it spilled off from high to low again 25%. The last time, the only time we breached this level, this was back on Monday, July 29th, 
where we broke above in a single candle and continued to go up, hitting our all-time high of around 20.7 cents before Caspa completely spilled off and fell through not just the first level here at 19.1 cents, but the second level at 17.1 cents again until we had that retest of that level. So where are we looking at? What are the price action concepts telling us as far as some key levels? Do we have any confluence? Yes, we do. The 17.19 cent level. This is where a lot of buying and selling happen. And if we throw on that volume profile again, you can see this level, although a little bit below that 17.19 cent, a lot of trading happened. Now, last time price came into this range, again, it did have a spill off. But we can see since then, we're seeing more buy orders be put in than sell orders. And so will we see a rise up leading into September 15th and then a collapse of Casper's price? I don't think so. And the reason for that is the timing of when it is happening. It is not happening at the tail end of a bull market. It is not happening in a bear market. It is happening in the very early, if not early stages of a bull market. Now, what are some coins to keep an eye on? What are some narratives or ideas to, uh, to keep your eye on when it comes to KRC20 tokens? Well, think about some of the biggest coins that have had success. You have animal themed meme coins, right? But a, a what I want to have your focused attention more on is going to be maybe the pets of the founders. We know Shy has a cat named Nacho. I'm not saying go out and buy this token. We know Wolfie has a cat as well. Who knows what Yonatan has? Maybe he's got a lizard. Maybe we're going to see a Caspa lizard token. But we know that the memes are going to come first. They're easy to make. You can rally the community. And what we know, Caspa's community, uh, they definitely know how to rally. But other ones I'd be looking for is, of course, we're going to see DEXs start being built. Which of those DEXs? are extremely user-friendly. I would look at something like Jupiter, right? The DEX aggregator. Could we see something similar on Caspa? And if we do, we should definitely pay attention. We saw what happened with Jupiter. They launched their beta. They launched the network prior to the token launch. And at the end, they airdropped people in January about $700 million worth of tokens. So these are different ways that not only buying a coin and speculating on it, but figuring out which of these protocols, which of this, the, the infrastructure plays once the Casper smart contracts goes live, which of those ones are going to garner a lot of attention? And can we get into the beta and use it? And can we also use it leading up to a token launch where we can eventually get a token airdrop and make money that way? Exciting times are ahead for Casper. This is only just the beginning. Can this KRC20 token standard, once it goes live, if it gets the mass adoption, if the community rallies behind it, can this push Caspa alone? This one narrative alone, could it push Caspa past $1.50, past $2, and potentially beyond? Let us know in the comment section. Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.